Hey gang, welcome back to our next installment of Greenhouse Lab. Today our lesson we're going to be doing some basic tomato care and my son Jeffrey Jr. is our cinematographer so he's going to be doing the filming and together we're going to talk about what we're doing in our tomato station to uh, to make sure that our chances of bringing in a nice big bumper crop of tomatoes this season is as good as it can be. I'm going to be focusing on on this area that I'm in right now from the corner of the garden all the way down to our parsley which is over here and one of the things you can notice Jeffrey on the top of this post you see that there's a beautiful dragonfly right there it's on the other post now one of the things that we're doing in our garden is to create an environment where it is ideal for beneficial insects to live. So it was neat to see that. So here we have our tomato station. And as you can see, we're using the stake and twine method to hold them up. And so I'm gonna be working on this. I've got some cherry tomatoes. I've got some beefsteak tomatoes and I've got some plum tomatoes. I'm gonna to work on this beefsteak right here because as you can see, we have some that are starting two beautiful ones and then this funny one that's split a little bit okay so I'm taking care of this specific beefsteak tomato as my as my first goal and what I want to do is I want to I want to focus in on the grid I'm working on and then I'm going to do some weeding I've got my bucket as you can see and remember our weeding techniques we want to go slowly and carefully making sure that we are taking out the whole whole plant right now we've got crab grass growing on in here and then right on into the bucket you want to apply a nice firm even pressure that way you can gently lever the root system of this weed out as well and then right into the bucket it goes I'm just working in my grid I started over on the left hand side and working toward the base of that plant. Anything that's not, this beefsteak tomato comes out. And I'm reaching back a little bit farther, taking out the grass, this bigger clump. I'm knocking it off as you can see. I don't want to take out the soil as well. We work hard to make a nice biome in the soil with life a nice healthy soil structure so I don't want to lose any of that and throw it right into the compost but that's where all this grass is going okay still working in my grid everything that is not our beefsteak tomato plant we're taking out everything all of this little grass going slowly and carefully as I pull it up with nice even pressure the last thing that you want to do when you're weeding is to just yank off the top of your grass that's growing in here and leave the rest it's kind of like you mowed it it's going to encourage that plant to set down deeper roots and to grow more blades of grass okay so I've weeded around this one beefsteak tomato plant. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look very carefully, starting from the bottom and moving up to the top. I'm looking for any sort of signs of a pest that could cause us a problem. In zone 6B, that's where we are. The biggest tomato problem we're gonna have for insects is a tomato hornworm. We've talked about that before. Green guy about this long. Looks like he's got horns on his head and he'll be up at the top in the newer foliage I'm not sure if I have one I don't think I do but I'm just looking for any evidence of insect damage and I'm going to take off these bottom leaves these leaves are pretty healthy as you can see nice green lush growth but I'm going to pinch them off just down at the bottom so that this plant can focus its growth toward the top so for the first nine inches or so, I'm just taking off 
these leaves. Okay. As we're looking, we have just a little bit of, of chew that's gone on on these leaves, just a little bit. But the growth is healthy. I'm not noticing any damage on the leaves other than just a couple of them, a nice beautiful green color. And then if we look up here in the new growth, it's just gorgeous. Nice, healthy, vibrant plant. All right, so now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over to my cherry tomato station. And we'll do the same thing here. I've been out here weeding a little bit earlier, so it's in pretty good shape. I have two cherry tomatoes that are in here. I was weeding from the other side, but it's in good shape here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Once I have my zone, right, starting over on this post to the other post, just looking and making sure that any plants that aren't my tomato plants, I'm gonna take on out of here. And I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with our beefsteak tomato. I wanna to start at the base of the plant and look up. I'm looking for any sort of evidence of a tomato hornworm or I'm looking for any sort of evidence of any kind of disease or trouble. Um, and so I'm looking, I'm noticing the color of the leaves is just this beautiful same. It's the beautiful green color. The leaves seem not to be chewed on. This is a, a plant that is in really good shape. It's growing like a vine. I've just tied it up. And so it's a little bit messier than the beefsteak tomato. It looks a little bit jumbled up, but I am, I am very happy with this plant. You can see in here, we have some cherry tomatoes that are starting to form. These will ripen over time, turn a beautiful red color. We've got some itty bitty ones that have just started right on up here, you can see. And then at the end, you'll see a pollinator at work moving around on the flowers. We've got some flowers up here. There was a pollinator that was just here, a little bee, when I mentioned it. It's flown off. And so that is my lesson for today on just a quick tomato maintenance. We checked on in with them. I've been tying them up as we go. Every couple of days I come on out and reinforce the lines. Our beefsteak tomato is doing really well. And our cherry tomato I've just tied up, so it's a little, a little jumbled, but again, still doing really well. I'm gonna get out here tomorrow and give them a nice, decent watering. So now this is the end of my video and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have.